When I was 14 years old, I developed an eye problem that resulted in a kind of blurry vision. I think it began with squinting a lot in class. can be thought of as replacing one another. Equations for this type of reaction have the general equation A, B plus C, D. The world around me actually began to look different. You will observe examples of the four types of chemical reactions described here. You will be expected to balance the equation. Naturally, my mother rushed me to the eye doctor where I underwent all kinds of tests. It was around this time that I entered into what my mother called my rebellious period. Things I had taken for granted, I now began to question. And this eye problem, this blurriness, gave a very weird twist to the world I was growing up in, American suburbia of the 1960s. When I was nine years old, we moved to a neighborhood called Huntington Valley. Unlike older towns, which evolved slowly, ours was an instant neighborhood, built on what was once farmland. Hundreds of new split-level, colonial, and ranch-style homes, all on identical plots of land, just 20 minutes outside of Philadelphia. Wherever you go throughout America today, you will find Americans are building at what almost seems a fever pitch whole new communities in the restful countrysides. I remember going to visit the model home with my parents one Sunday afternoon. We were shown catalogs featuring all the different types of houses you could choose from. By the end of the day, we had a down payment on the colonial model. This was going to be our dream house. We moved in in the summer of 1961. This is the street that I grew up on, and I haven't been back here in about 20 years. I lived in the house at the very end of the street, and um, I'd, I'd love to show you that house, but unfortunately, the present owners are being rather difficult and won't let us film there. But I figure if I can drive by very slowly, maybe you can get a peek. It's right over there. bit different the trees have really grown in a lot I figure maybe since uh, it doesn't look like the owners are home I can come back with a long lens and we can sneak some shots my childhood was basically a happy one I felt very loved and very protected that was the problem my life was too protected it was like I was growing up inside a glass bubble with no connection to the outside world. And this place I was living in gave me an unrealistic idea of what my life would be like when I grew up. It was a world without drama, without adventure, where everything was the same. This year I turned 40 and I decided to go back to Huntington Valley and get in touch with some of my old school friends, women I hadn't seen in many years. I wanted to know how this place and those times shaped who we'd become. I wondered what they thought about growing up in suburbia in the 1960s.